Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making another baked good, but it's not quite like the other ones we've been making. It's a delicious croissant that I've made several times and they're so yummy and there's several different ways you can make it, but let's get right into it. Before we do get into it, please like and comment below and subscribe if you like the content here. Thanks, and let's get to the video. To start out this recipe, we'll need 12 ounces or one can of evaporated milk. I did not have evaporated milk, so I found out that you can use a fourth cup of heavy whipping cream and three-fourths cup whole milk to substitute each cup of evaporated milk. So that's what I did to the equivalent of 12 ounces. Once you have your 12 ounces of evaporated milk, you'll put in one cup of water and then warm up this mixture until it's nice and warm. When that is done, put it in a metal mixing bowl in your stand mixer with dough hooks in your mixer. And to that, you'll add three lightly beaten eggs and 12 teaspoons or 3 fourths cup unsalted butter and make sure it's melted. Then add one teaspoon salt and half a cup of sugar. After that is done, just mix those nicely together. Next, add two tablespoons of active dry yeast. Next, we're going to put in six to seven cups of all-purpose flour. So just add those in one at a time. Uh, you want your consistency to be like a sticky dough. Now that we have our nice consistency of dough, we are going to butter a large dish. Make sure it is large because your dough will rise a lot. Next, put your dough in there and then cover it and put it aside for about an hour or until it doubles in size. Once it's all risen, we're going to just work with it a little bit and then cut it into four parts or just divide it into four parts as you have it. Next, flour a nice cooking sheet. I love using this one that we have. Next, put your dough on it. Flour the top of it lightly. You don't want to use more flour than you have to. And Roll the dough out until it is about a 12 or 18 inch circle. When that is nice and rolled out, about a fourth an inch thick, take a pizza cutter and cut it into 16 triangles. These are not large croissants, but they are super delicious. Next, grease the baking sheet and then start rolling your croissants from the large end in. Make sure you have them spaced nicely on the baking sheet so they are not touching each other and have plenty of space to rise while baking. When that is done, put it to the side and we're going to roll out some more dough. Uh, these are larger and you'll do this to all four parts of your dough. When that is done, put it in at 375 degrees for 12 to 13 minutes or until golden brown. When that is done, you'll want to put your melted mixture of four tablespoons unsalted butter and three tablespoons honey and just baste it onto the top of all of your biscuits while they are nice and warm. Next, put them on a cooling rack and they are ready to enjoy. My brother says these were amazing and the best he's had. 